let's talk about the sacred grove, the witch shop that I used to frequent. Um, no longer exists there. Often. Hey, gracias. Um, I can't throw this back into the mic. So, um, but let's talk about uh, Birch et al. Birch et al. Um, Tito used to work at that witch shop, so you'd see me going in, but I also already had to go in. Um, talk about a few things just encompassing, you know, was I spending a lot of money there? No. Um, I'll go over everything that I can recall that I bought there, and the price point's pretty low. Um, and it'll be over the span of everything that I bought there. So, I bought a scrub, I bought a few sprays, I bought a couple oils like this. Um, I bought a um, snake skin. I would come in and get that sometimes. Uh, I bought uh, candles, sticks, as Fucking Birch would say. He always makes fun of me for being so cheap because I come in and I buy big like, sticks. You're buying sticks. I'm like, they're not sticks, they're incense peppers. I don't money. <laughs> Yes, I'm using your free money spray. Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe I would buy sticks if I had more money. And candles. Um, there was also, I bought one off one off the shelf, but the others in this little 50 cent jar. So, down below by the register. But um, there was one on the wall. You started this. Uh, when I did it on crossing, I started this whole thing. He sold me a black cat candle. Cat. He started this whole theme. He meant <laughs> And um, and then I don't know. Um, as far as they gave me that on crossing powder note, it's free, and the mojo was free. Why? Because you said I was giving out all the weed. No, of all the weed that I gave out, it was one to Derek, which Israel gave him. Fair. And then two honey bears to that shop. That's it. That's all the weed I gave out. And um, now people can lie and say whatever, but I'm honey bears. There's not for weed, but which is used weed. So. Um, one to someone that worked there specifically. It was trying to save her lungs. It was the smoke, and the other just for a general shop thing. So I gave them some booze, worth a bit, and they gave me um, some stuff. And. Uh, so, and then, um, so you might see me talking to some of their spiritual um, advisors sometimes. Thank you very much. And um, you might see uh, Tito pulled cards, but that was just, you know, him being a friend and me being a shop. And they gave me that uncrossing powder for free. No, they don't pay for it. The white powder in a baggie. Yeah, exactly. And also the, um, the mojo, the red mojo. He does not charge me for it. He just gave it to me for free. I was like, all right, cool. Now, at one point, you might have seen me. He probably called this drugs, but I went and I was freaked, man. Because I found out that there was a mole in my house, Ashley. And I was like, dude, they're actually in my house. This is bad. This is way worse than I thought. And so I went to Birch. And I'm like squatting by his register being like, dude, I'm like freaked the fuck out right now. Like, they are actually like doing this. And, uh, you know, Birch used to be a cop. So he was like, you, know, you got to put it in courts before they do. So I tried. Um, and... Um, I don't know, the cop, the, after 15 years, this shop that was doing well shut down during that pretty interesting time in there. So, um, and I don't understand it, because they were just going to expand, too. So, uh, I'm not worried that they have any proof of me buying any, either, like, expensive things or a lot of things or anything. It really is, it used to be great for Oh, and, and charcoals. Charcoals in a pocket. Um, and, uh, and, uh, some, it's incense, but it's black opal, so it would have 
good block. Okay. Like out on display though, it's not like... And then the only other thing is I went in for services um, in the very beginning after Tito pulled my cars when I was first meeting him to see so if you're picking up anybody else's baggage. It's kind of like a tune-up for your car, you just a spiritual tune-up. So there's something residual on you that's kind of strange. Yeah. Why well, don't you go check it out until I went to the back and I mean, if you have footage, it's just, the guy's just taking voodoo feathers. Like, I mean, he's doing voodoo, he's taking them. Like, but I don't know what they are, black chicken feathers or something? That's what they are. And like, putting it over me and stuff. And he's like, you're okay, there's nothing on you. I'm like, cool, cool, and he's checking. He's like, there was, there was something, had some sort of affinity. He didn't want to say that there's no some sort of affinity on you, but it's black. Yeah, cool. That's, that's my intuition too. It's just that. Yeah. So, um, anyway, um, and uh, that's really all you got with the shop. I also had a moment of having come in from being an existential switch, which I thought it completely exist, um, to to being more traditional witch in that shop. Thing. Magic's a thing. It's not just like a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing outside of you. Well, oh my god. First, do you know what this means? He's like, yeah, pretty fucking well aware I'm hired for this shit. <laughs> Which is really funny. Um, so, anyway. Um, that's really all all you have. I was nice to the witches. What I'll say about the people that had worked there and they no longer do this doesn't exist is you really, you want specific information, go to the men, but you want wisdom, go to the women. They really know what's up, it's pretty fucking cool. And actually one of the um, psychics that worked there, um, she, <laughs> so weird, she um, had just been voted best psychic. She's really good. She talks about some stuff. But um, anyway, so. I do recommend those people, even though I know, I'm well aware that you guys took the money come on, guys. You don't have any white powder for no reason. Um, however, I'll say this, um, going forward with this, I don't want your money. Like, I know I could sue you in this and that. If this is like a Native American thing, it just doesn't really sit right with me, fellow witch kind of thing. What I want is a spiritual draw. Well, actually, I prefer a, a spiritual reversal. I say take the money that they give you to do this and that and do the magic in the right way. Protect me, protect you. Fuck them. Fuck them. They're just gonna continue doing it. You've not felt good since I mean, you had money, but you've not felt safe. You don't shut down the business because you feel safe. Fuck them, dude. Take it and run. Do what you're gonna do. Alright guys? Month. You're breaking which you're breaking which rules to fuck me over. And I'll also say this: when thinking of how to uh, damage them, you should know some things, maybe perhaps about the magic that they use. They'll deny it. Blah blah blah. Uh, Richard's well aware of who we were in past lives. He does past life progressions. Mally does some dream stuff, um, but she leaves her dreaming open as this. They do stuff in a circle with hexing. They do blood work. They do drinking things from the cups and the chalice and they pass around and take magic. I know it sounds weird. Birch laughed at me when I said that. I like, take magic. I'm not kidding. It represents, they do pig sacrifices to represent people. So as you're thinking of other weak points, I think perhaps these are things that you should know. Also, mirror box. Fucking, I wish I had never taken I felt bad. I took her out. Do not take them out. They can't handle self-reflection. They're shit at it. Their uh, their lies are much, much stronger than their truth, which is incredibly weak. So the best thing I would say is to hit on their reflection. They can't handle it. So they're very emotionally unbalanced. They're very off kilter, and it's actually not hard to knock them off their shit. Just putting it out there as you think you've had to go forward and get them off of you, I'm telling you. So, anyway. I'm not here to hold grudges, I'm here to win. You know what I mean? You should be thinking along the same lines too.